Good morning. Well, today I picked a different park to go walk on. Um, this is one that sometimes we'll do uh, environment day and help pick up and trash and stuff like that. Um, this part of the park, um, it's on the back side there you can see Northeastern University. Um, part of the satellite from Tahlequah um, and this may get noisy because we've got um, construction going on just up the way a little bit but the kids like going through uh, this park and come and playing on different apparatuses um, and it's a fun place to get, get one of the shelters and um, have a picnic we're kind of under uh, severe weather today. They're saying uh, really a high risk for tornadoes. This morning looked a little bit more like it than it does now. At least now you can kind of see a hint of blue sky. The birds are loving it. They're flying everywhere. Um, but I like that they put in new sidewalk here. That makes it a lot nicer than having to walk on the side of the road. Um, funny little footprints um, but this is pretty clean um, they've got a lot of taking a lot of safety precautions and stuff like that um, I mean anytime kids get to climb and there can be an accident but things like it, it seems like everything is pretty well constructed and anchored down and they, like I said, they like to go up there and slide down and then run and climb and hide and all that kind of stuff. And then sometimes I will go, there's a lake right this side of the college. You can't really see it a whole lot, but there's a lot of geese and stuff that go there. And um, it's a popular walk area and then where we have a lot of uh, outdoor events also. But... Uh, Red buds are blooming. Dogwoods. Um, really, everything is. It's, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of hard to believe it's this warm. The end of March. It kind of brings up that saying: March comes in like a lamb, goes out like a lion, and vice versa. But um, it's really a nice day. So doing all I can to protect my telomeres or get my telomeres to grow um, you know kind of when you start aging you don't always have those telomeres but eating fermented foods drinking more water drinking my redox supplements and Exercise is a big part of it. Less stress is a huge part of it. So, they just recently went through here and resotted some of this, which is nice. It's just for the sidewalk grill, it just really made a huge difference. When I'd come out and walk this before, I'd have to walk over there on the road. And then you're wondering, okay, is the vehicle gonna see me? But by being this kind of a path, makes it nice for even bikers that want to come out and ride their, their bicycles. Or, I don't think it'd be good for motor vehicles, but anyway, it's just amazing how warm it is today. And it's not as windy as yesterday yet. We've had some clouds that have went over that have looked like it might like to do something. The clouds were kind of like in a row of ribbons this morning, but not so much now. But you know, as the day heats up, it's just like that right there. I don't have a trash bag with me and I don't have my little paper up thing. But 
Why do they have to throw the trash? There's trash cans at the park up there by where I parked and by each of the three corner things. And then down here at the baseball park, there's everywhere, there's no need to litter. Okay, I'll get off that soapbox. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to beach her to the road. I don't wanna walk through the mud. I'll go around the dirt and then I'll get up on the sidewalk. So, on our call this morning, I talked a lot about purpose and knowing your why, why you do things, not just you want to lose weight, but why do you want to lose weight? What a promise are you willing to make to yourself for whatever the goal is that you're wanting to do? Really good for thought. They brought up a book. It was called The Power of One More by Ed, My Ed Milet. And it's also on audio. Um, so a lot of us are reading that. I'm still reading the book, um, Michael Sh or, uh, Sharan, um, The One Disease Redox Imbalance, <clears throat> and talks about cellular level and different things, redox sciences and redox research that's been done, and most of it, I like the way that he lists it. And references like PubMed studies and research that's been done. It's not just him giving an opinion. He's actually documented what he's trying to say. The birds are sure loving this. They're chirping. I like the way these cedars are in a row to line. I know a lot of people don't like cedars, but if you if you maintain them, they make great wind breaks. Um, you know, wasn't that, I, well, it's all relative. I once that one that long ago that Oklahoma, Kansas area was hit with um, Dust Bowl, and that's because they were just coming in and wrecking everything off of the surface top soil is blowing away and it took years for the soil to recover from that um, but one little tidbit that my father-in-law shared was because we had pasture at Orlando Lucene area down by Stillwater that we could go get the um, cedars out of which helped keep the pasture clean but then we would trans transplant them to replace our trees whenever they were old, older and um, or if we found a new place that we needed to protect. Um, and the thing he said was if you're going to transplant, because they are hard to transplant and, and survive, but he said if you put a string on the north side of the tree before you ever dig it up and then whenever you transplant it, you make sure that string is still on the north side and you'll have a higher success rate of transplanting them. And that held true after we, because at first I didn't realize that you needed to do that. I was a city girl moving to the country. But once we did that, we did have a higher success rate of transplanting them. And of course that was in western Oklahoma where, you know, that climate is a little bit different than here, than in eastern Oklahoma, but not the same. Lots of mistletoe in these trees.
but this is the park I wanted to check it see how it was I'll, I'll probably come back tomorrow after the storms all blow through and pick up whatever blows across it really doesn't look that bad right this minute of course I'm still walking it <laughs> but I really like the fact that they made it easier with the sidewalks it's some industrial park back behind over there but you have to go around to get to it it's kind of on a dead end And like when I walk up by the school over on the other side over there, you can barely see the school. The road dead ends right there, or they have a gate across it. But anyway. Yeah, I guess there is quite a bit of trash over on the other side, but like I said, I didn't bring my stuff with me. I just decided since it was clearing off and not looking so stormy for a moment. And I'm, with the prediction of storms coming in, I would get out and get my walking steps in. And then I like the line dance classes. Gosh, it's been so long since I've line danced. Um, to where I felt like I knew the dances because we just don't do the club scene anymore but our senior citizen which I've never went to because I don't feel like I'm a senior but I get up there and I realize maybe I am more than I want to admit But it sure helps your brain thought because you're concentrating on what step, remembering the type of step, remembering the order. Get your heart rate up like an aerobic. Another way to get those telomeres going. Here, little buggy, where are you going? What kind of bug are you? Yeah, okay, I see what's happened here. Probably the wind that we had the other day blew them over, and then the trash got out. But that's a lot of recycling that's just put in the trash can of bottles in aluminum. But like I said, I don't have my thing to sit with me. I don't live that far away that I can't come back and do it. But like I said, I think I'll wait till after the storms tomorrow. And then come back. Last time I was through here, even though all these trash cans, about every so many feet, was here. There was trash. Lots of cigarette bags. You'll find all sorts of stuff. <laughs> don't need, don't. Glad it went in the trash can and not in the, just tossed. Well, it sounds really good. I love fountains. But 
this is kind of a popular park, especially when they're having tournaments. Our kids haven't played here yet. But they are busy when they're here. We had a um, thing I, sh I shared on one of my other uh, videos. There was a event that we had at our veterans park. I took pictures for it and I did a Facebook live for it. I had different speakers, but it was for the um, Korean War. And then also to honor the not only to honor the veterans, but also to honor the sculptor that did the sculpture for the Korean soldier. And he has passed, and so they wanted to do a special tribute honor for him. And it was really nice to get to talk to those guys. They talked about the main thing they remembered was how cold it was. Oh, turtle. I'm not going to pick you up. But where are you going? It's amazing how they carry their, ha their houses with them. I wonder what that means on his back. Maybe he's just come out of the moss. Maybe he's just a walking along. He keeps peeking out. From the turtle's eye, I probably look really big to him and he doesn't know that I am not going to hurt him. I'm going to leave him alone. There's a little creek thing right over here and I bet that's where he's trying to get to. It's the runoff from some of the rains we've had. Talking about changing time, one of the reasons I started my YouTube channel was to try to preserve some of the memories of the old videos and stuff that were saved to VCR, VCH, VCR tapes, VCH machines. There's no turtle. His shells different. Definitely has some dirt and some moss on the back of him. We're looking at the pattern and checking me out too. <laughs> Don't pick me up. Amazing creatures that God made. But anyway, I wanted to save some of these so that when you look at my channel, you'll see some. I'm not putting everything on YouTube, but um, I have cousins and stuff that have asked me about genealogy and our family tree. And so I try to save little clips of those to attach to the particular person in the tree or find 
um, other family that might be interested in seeing might be something that they don't have a record of but anyway just wanted to bring you guys along on the walk just a few of my thoughts this morning um, you know when you get to walk in your brain just kind of starts thinking of things slows life down just a little bit so you can reflect not necessarily to look back and stay there but to have gratitude and appreciation for where you've been and where you're going so I am going to end the video here and wish you all a very blessed day and we'll talk again.